Hi everyone! In this video you will learn how to work with complex variable types list and table. These variable types consist of multiple values, each of string type. Lists and tables are needed when you want to do the same set of actions for all items in the list and rows or columns in the table. For example, you want to open each website stored in the list or send an email using data from each row in your table. Let's implement these two use cases in practice. First of all, let's create a list variable and put website URLs inside. You can set values to the variable manually, as we are doing now, or you can get them from somewhere else, for example, from an Excel file. Now let's add for each loop action and select our list variable in the drop down menu. Then drag open website action inside for each loop. And type element variable into the site URL field, so the bot will open each website from our list variable. That's it, let's play the recording. The next complex variable type is table. Let's say we have an Excel file with information about tasks and due dates. Let's send a unique email to each recipient, using information from each row. First, let's copy the data from the Excel file to the table variable. We need to open the spreadsheet and copy the information using getRange action. The starting point of the range will be cell A2 and the ending point cell D4. If you are not sure about table size, you can leave the ending point blank. The bot will copy all non-empty cells. Create a table variable and select it in the drop-down menu. Then let's open Outlook to send the email using launch application action. Define the path to Outlook .exe file there. As we want to send an email to each recipient in the table, let's use for each loop action. When we use for each loop with a table variable, the bot will perform nested actions for each row or column, depending on what option you've selected. Each row or column in a table variable represents a list. Each value in the list has an index, so if you want to use a specific value from the row or column, you can do it using its index. In our table, the information about each recipient is stored in a row, so we need to iterate by rows. First of all, our bot needs to click on New Email button. We will do that using Window Control option in mouse click action. To use window control option, we need to switch to the correct window first. And put mouse click action inside the window action. When the button is clicked, the new email window opens, so we need to switch to it. Now we are going to fill in the information from our table variable. First, let's type in the recipient's email. If we take a look on our table, we will see that recipient is the fourth value in the row, so it has index 4. Let's type in the variable with the index. Then click on the subject field 
and type the subject. Finally, let's type in the text of the email. When the bot types the text, variables will be replaced with corresponding values from the table, so the text will be different for each recipient. Click Send button to send the email. That's it, let's play the recording. In this example, the bot sent only three emails, but you can have dozens or hundreds of rows in the table and send hundreds of emails using the same script we just built, without the need to change a single action. And it's the magic of lists and tables. Hope this video helped you understand how to use list and table variables in your recordings. Please give us a thumbs up, also feel free to leave your questions and comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching, see you next time.